Visualize your words, understanding visual imagery in English. Hello everyone. Today, we're diving into a fascinating part of descriptive language techniques in English. Our focus is on visual imagery. This technique is used by writers and speakers to create a picture in the minds of the readers or listeners. It's an incredibly powerful tool to make your English more expressive and engaging. Let's get started. Visual imagery involves language that creates visual representations in our minds. It helps the reader or listener visualize the person, place, or thing being described. This involves the use of vivid or figurative language to represent ideas, actions, or objects. For instance, saying, the room was messy, is an example of ordinary description. But if we use visual imagery, we could say, the room was a wild jungle of books, clothes strewn about like fallen leaves, and furniture covered in a thick layer of dust. Here, visual imagery paints a detailed picture in the listener's or reader's mind. Using visual imagery effectively in English involves understanding adjectives, similes, metaphors, and other figurative language. Adjectives are words that describe or modify other words, often making our imagery more detailed and vivid. For example, glossy, red apples, or tattered, old book. Similes compare two things using like or as. For example, his eyes twinkled like stars. Metaphors directly compare two things without using like or as. For example, her eyes were shining stars. By using these tools, you can create vibrant visual imagery in your conversations and writing. Now, let's practice. Try to describe a simple scene or object in a way that creates a vivid picture. For example, instead of saying, I saw a beautiful sunset, try something like, the sky was ablaze with streaks of orange and pink as the sun slowly sank below the horizon. Remember, the goal is to make your listener or reader see what you're describing. Practicing this regularly will improve your English proficiency and make your communication more engaging and expressive. That's a wrap on our exploration of visual imagery in English. Remember, visual imagery is all about creating a mental picture. It's a powerful tool for enhancing your English conversations and writing. Keep practicing, and soon enough, you'll be painting vivid pictures with your words. Thank you for joining us in this learning journey. We hope this video has been helpful. Until next time, keep practicing and happy learning.